Now in this last part, we've got to find another point C on the path where the speed of the ball is also V meters per second. And we've got to find the time taken for the ball to travel from O to this particular point C. So where is C going to be on this path? Well, it's going to be over here actually, exactly opposite A. And how do I know that? Well, we've already seen that the horizontal velocity is going to stay exactly the same. It's going to be 6. Let's just mark that on here as being 6 in that direction. But we found out earlier that to get this value of v, this component downwards was also 6. So therefore, the only way that we're going to get another point on this curve is where the velocity here has actually changed direction, that it's 6 units upwards. Let's see if we can just squeeze it through there, OK? 6 up in that direction. And that would give us exactly the same value of v, only v is going in this direction now. So how are we going to find out that time that it gets to this point here? Well, one way is to look at the vertical motion. If we look at the vertical motion, knowing that we've got the vertical final velocity at this point here, then we should be able to find out what t is. So let's just say that we consider the vertical motion. And if we build up our SUVAP based equation, S, U, V, A and T, we know that if we take upwards as positive, don't worry about S, let's just have a look at U. U, the initial upward velocity, was 12, 12 meters per second. V, we know the final one has got to be 6. The acceleration acts downwards, minus g then, so that's going to be minus g or minus 9.8. And t is what we're trying to find. So we can use in here v equals u plus at. Now, what is v? Well, v is going to be 6 equals u, which is 12. And then we've got minus 9.8 for g and then times t. And if we rearrange this, let's say we add 9.8t to both sides, take 6 from both sides, so you get 9.8t equals 6. And then to get t, just divide 6 by 9.8 and that gives us a value of 0 0.612 seconds to three significant figures. OK, it wasn't the only way that you could do this problem. You had, for instance, S here, the displacement from here to here. It would be the same as what you found for AB. So if you did find the height AB, then you could have substituted this value, value into here and you could have still worked out what T was. OK, so anyway, whatever method you use, there's your answer. 0.612 seconds to three significant figures, all right?